All right, today is an end of an era for me. It's a kind of sad day. This badge has been with me since I first started my career as a software engineer at Google, and today I'm gonna to be turning it in. It's my boo. I could make a quarter million off a high cool, and I could make another quarter off at times two. If it's money on the table, I'll be on it like Bobby or Epic. You peep the aesthetic. So that was a little bit dramatic. I just got a new badge. Um, I gotta say, compared to the old ones, these are kind of boring, I would say. Like, they're nice and modern, but the old ones were holograms, and that was really cool. At the end of the day, though, doesn't really matter what our badges look like, but I realized that I still have about 20 minutes until my first meeting of the day, so right now I'm just taking the scenic route back to my building, trying to get some steps in, enjoying the sunlight, and stopping by the farmer's market uh, at Marcadero. It get hot in the summer, yeah. Hot in the summer. So I've actually really been looking forward to today because I'm meeting up with a bunch of friends from college. One of my friends works in a building with one of the best views of San Francisco, so I'm really excited to go check it out. And then after work today, we're going to meet up with even more friends to hang out for happy hour, which is always a fun time. But first, I have to get through my work day. I don't have any more meetings today. Pretty much just going to be heads down working on bug fixing and debugging. And if you don't know what debugging is, basically it's like when something breaks or something doesn't work as expected, you have to go look through the code and figure out what's happening, why it's happening, and how to fix it. So you know what? Let's Let's just get to work. So I have been listening to Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal on my commute to work and his section on owning your mindset really resonated with me lately because in my last vlog I was venting a little bit I was talking about how I had low morale and just like kind of just overall stressed about layoffs reorgs in general work stuff and the thing that I needed to hear was that like I may not have control over layoffs and reorgs and stuff like that but I do have control over my mindset and how I think about things the TLDR is that Ali when he was working as a doctor he had to stay a little bit late for work because a nurse caught him like as he was about to leave and he found himself kind of complaining like oh if I had just like left a little bit earlier I wouldn't have to stay so late and upon reflecting on that scenario he realized that you know he's a doctor he's saving lives and he's making a difference to his patient and that was a really good reminder for me like hey I chose this career I really wanted to be a software engineer and I worked really hard to get where I am today so instead of waking up and being like oh man I gotta get to work today which is kind of how I've been feeling I'm gonna try and remember that hey you know I work on really cool projects that matter and I get to work with really smart people that I actually enjoy working with and that's pretty sweet and yes layoffs and reorgs still suck but that's really out of my control and that's not really what I should be focusing on honestly I still believe that working at Google is where I want to be right now I mean all things considered we have it really nice I mean just last week we had a summer festival down in Mountain View just for all the employees in my organization and it was so much fun I'm gonna pull up some videos to show you the summer festival was cowboy themed so it was a bunch of like cowboy related activities so here's a video of me riding a bull which is actually kind of funny it's like the first thing that all of us did and we went really early so there was no line. They also had axe throwing and a bunch of arts and crafts activities. I only did one of them which was making a succulent planter and I think it turned out really nice. It was around lunchtime so I ended up eating a bunch of really good food and we played a bunch of carnival games to try and win some raffle prizes. I posted all of this to my Instagram story so feel free to follow me on there if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this as it happens live. Didn't end up winning anything but overall it was like just a really fun event. It like really boosted my morale and it like made me think like wow okay this is why tech companies spend so much money on these big events for their employees because it actually works. <laughs> Sorry, somebody came in the room and I got shy of vlogging. But yeah, basically events like this is kind of why I still enjoy working at Google. I mean, I'm still learning a lot and I'm still working on cool things that I like to work on. And that's why I still see myself working here, at least for a little while. So 
I'm actually heading to another Google office because it's closer to the Salesforce Tower building. I'm gonna have a quick lunch because my friend that works at Salesforce is gonna take a few of us up to the Ohana floor, which I never really heard about, but I looked it up on Google yesterday. I guess it's like one of the top two floors, so that would be cool. Visiting the top floor of the Salesforce Tower was pretty cool. I originally intended on vlogging my experience, but I just got shy. Even though my friends that I was with, they know that I vlog. I did take some B-roll, so I hope you enjoyed that. But right now, heading back to the office and gonna get some work done. busy but like in the best way because it's only 350 I already finished my steps I have 13,000 steps and I'm done with work so now all I got to do is head over to happy hour to meet up with my friends from college and that's a day in my life